Togo President Ifole Ginasingbe says 140 people killed in jihadist war. The small West African nation along with neighboring Benin, Ghana and Ivory Coast is increasingly facing threats of jihadist spillover all from Burkina Faso and Mali. We have paid a heavy price, especially our defense and security forces who have lost around 40 men, unfortunately, and then we add civilian victims, a hundred so civilian victims in the country. Fole Singh Be said in an interview with local private station New World TV broadcast on Thursday, the president's family has ruled Togo since 1967. The interview, his first since taking over from his father in 2005, marked the 63rd anniversary of the country's independence from France. What is happening to us is a form of aggression by two groups. One is called the Islamic State in the Greater Sahara and the other, the group for the support of Islam and Muslims, he said. Referring to a group linked to Al-Qaeda, this campaign by two terrorist organizations is a form of war, said President Dina Singhbe. The president said a three-tiered strategy had been put in place to confront the threat, including launching a military operation known as Kond Jore in September 2018. It was a preventive operation at first, which then became defensive, and now occasionally we are also on the offensive, he said. The 56-year-old re-elected three times in polls contested by the opposition addressed concerns over the government and military's choice to stay mum over the more frequent attacks when questioned by the media, including AFP. There is something indecent about proclaiming someone's death, he said. It is not about, uh, it is not because we don't issue statements that we don't have successes. We do have successes. Members of the political opposition and civil society have often criticized the authorities' silence over the situation in the north. An official asking that to remain anonymous recently told AFP that this was a choice because we have to protect our defense and security forces. Gina Singbe warned that Togolese people should expect a long fight with dramatic moments which is inevitable in times of war. But I want to assure my countrymen that in the end we will win, he said. In addition to military operations, he said the government had set up an inter-ministerial committee for the preventive for the prevention and fight against violent extremism. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for videos.